Right now, the latest details on an incident in Janesville. A SWAT team called in to deal with an armed suspect barricaded in a home. Also living up to its name, why Sun Prairie is celebrating an achievement when it comes to the city's shift to solar power. And Tammy Baldwin, Senate challenger Eric Hovde, clarifying his stance on one of the biggest issues of the election cycle, abortion rights. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. We began with breaking news tonight. A Madison man will spend several years in prison for firebombing the office of an anti-abortion group. Today, a federal judge sentencing her Adindu Roy Chaudhry to seven and a half years in prison. In December, the 29-year-old pleaded guilty to using Molotov cocktails to cause smoke and fire damage at the Northside office of Wisconsin Family Action. The firebombing came six days after a draft of the U.S. Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade was leaked to the public back in 2020. 22. Roy Chaudhry was arrested in March of 2023 when investigators matched his DNA and other evidence. And we continue to follow a tense situation in Janesville today. A SWAT team called to a home leading to a standoff and a number of streets being blocked off there. Our Jalen Banks is in Janesville with the latest. Susan and Eric, the armed threat is over in Janesville after a few tense hours Wednesday. It was just before 9 a.m. when Janesville police received a domestic call at this home just behind me on Excalibur Drive and Spruce Street. Police say it started when a man threatened his sister with a gun over a separate incident. That woman thought it was a BB gun, but officers later discovered it was a real gun. When officers arrived, that's when police say the suspect barricaded himself inside that home, unwilling to cooperate. Roads were closed around the home and SWAT was called. After a time back and forth of negotiations, that's when the suspect surrendered to police. Now, the Janesville man was medically evaluated before being taken to jail. Police say he's facing a number of charges. For now in Janesville, Jalen Banks, News 3 Now. Jalen, thank you. As this story first broke, we sent push alerts warning you of the investigation. And as it develops, make sure to download our news app to stay up to date with the latest information. Just search channel3000.com in your app store. It's free. In Milwaukee, there are new developments in the case of a missing 19-year-old pizza restaurant employee. Friends are searching for answers in the whereabouts of a Wisconsin teen who went missing back on April 1st. Megan Lee talks to a close family friend in Milwaukee. We need to bring the heart of Pizza Shuttle back home. The heart of Pizza Shuttle, Sade Robinson, went missing on April 1st. Today, Julia Ferrero looks at photos of her son Benicio and Sade working together at the restaurant. They vibed, they listened to music, they laughed. I mean, they talked about everything. Julia just got back from visiting Benicio at college. She says her son is heartbroken over Sade's disappearance. He's devastated. Um, he's still marching on because Sade would want him to because she would be like, nope, I don't want you to be sad. I want you to keep living your life. Many Pizza Shuttle employees too upset to go on camera tell me her smiley presence is unforgettable. Julia would agree. Always laughing, smiling, making the customers feel like welcomed and the employees welcomed and just like always lit up the room. Family and friends are not losing hope. They want to bring their ray of light safely back home. She is somebody that is very special, you know, and I hope we can find some answers for her. That was Megan Lee reporting Robinson's disappearance comes the same week that investigators found a human leg in a Milwaukee County Park. A man being held in connection with the human remains appeared in court yesterday morning. Authorities have not officially connected that leg to Robinson, but the family of Sade Robinson was in that courtroom. Next tonight, a live look at the sky cam. Temps in the 60s across southern Wisconsin for most of the day today. And that will stay the same, but tomorrow we could see a little rain. So for more, let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Nice evening out there tonight, Alex. Gorgeous evening, Susan. I'm gonna use your words from yesterday. Tomorrow's going to be the hiccup in the forecast. We had a gorgeous day today. Then the rainy conditions, let's track that on your Thursday. Starting off at 5 a.m., probably dry, but by the time here in Madison, we get to 11 o'clock. That's about the time you're going to need to bring that umbrella out. And then as we swing out towards 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, if you don't have that umbrella, 
Panda, you're probably going to get wet in Madison and have good news about the widespread coverage of the showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm or two, which I'll mention a little bit more in a couple of minutes. That rain turns off by the time we get on into your Friday. Susan said 60s. We're almost near 70s. 67 degrees, a light west southwest breeze. So get outside. Enjoy this evening, folks. We got a 71 in Middleton, 70 in Cross Plains, 68. Our friends tuning in in Belleville, lots of upper 60s. I said if we got just enough sunshine, we could crack 70 degrees, and they did in Prairie du Chien and in Boscobel. Planning your night tonight, quiet, clouds increase. No rain expected tonight. Lows in the middle 40s, but the rain shower chances will increase as we go on into your Thursday with temperatures where they should be for this time of year in the 50s. April showers and isolated thunderstorms. Let's track that together in a couple of minutes. All right, Alex, thank you. We'll take a look at this map right here. Each one of these dots that you see on that map represents a home, a business, or a public building. This is in Sun Prairie, and each of those has solar power. It shows just how seriously that community is taking renewable energy. Today, the city was designated a platinum community by SolSmart for its efforts in solar adoption. Our Kyle Pazorski shows us how the city of Sun is being recognized as a nationwide leader in solar. Well, this announcement is a big deal with the potential to attract future residents to Sun Prairie as well as the rest of Dane County through collaborative efforts. <laughs> Sun Prairie City leadership and partners from Dane County made the announcement Wednesday afternoon. Kathy Coons from the Dane County Office of Energy and Climate Change speaking about how Sun Prairie worked with the county to get other municipalities on board with renewable energy. Three others in the county are now in the process of working towards their own sole smart designation. Like, I think a lot of our local governments want to make these things happen but SoulSmart kind of gives us a recipe for, oh, don't remember, remember to think about this. Kuhn says by Sun Prairie leading the way, those others can learn what works to make solar more accessible. Like fixing the local ordinance so a ground mounted system doesn't have to go through an extra process. You know, each of those things matters. SoulSmart reserves the platinum designation for cities which have demonstrated high impact solutions to advance solar energy and promote accessible clean energy. Kuntz tells News 3 Now it's her hope others in the county will follow in Sun Prairie's footsteps. And that's really our vision is that sort of that, that everywhere in Dane County these things are easy and consistent to do. Additionally, there is a sort of bragging rights to go along with this as Sun Prairie is now only the second municipality throughout the entire country to get this designation, putting more pressure on other cities throughout the rest of Dane County. Your party in Sun Prairie, Kopzarski, News 3 Now. Looking ahead to the fall election, one of the issues that will dominate the campaign is abortion. One of the Republicans running against Senator Tammy Baldwin this fall is Eric Hovde, who was endorsed by Donald Trump earlier this month. He was asked by reporters today at a Milwaukee event what his stance on abortion is and contraceptives. If a woman wants access to birth control, get access to birth control. I have no problem with that. And as it pertains to abortion, look, I'm very clear on that issue. I believe in exceptions. I believe in the beauty of life. Hovde added that he thinks mothers in early stages of pregnancy should be able to choose on abortion, but before the fetus is viable. His opponent, Senator Tammy Baldwin, has supported national abortion protections. Well, the second attempt to recall Republican State Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has failed. That's according to the findings of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. In its final review of the attempt, it found organizers failed to gather enough valid signatures to trigger a recall election, and the effort was complicated by concerns over which district maps would be used if there was a recall election, but the staff review found it didn't matter which maps were used because the recall didn't get enough of those signatures. The recall is backed by former President Trump, who has resumed his criticism of Voss after failing to impeach elections official Megan Wolf. Well, the Green Bay Packers, some exciting news to kick off the 24 season. They'll make history when they kick off down in Brazil against the Philadelphia Eagles, the first ever regular season game played in South America in any country. It'll be played Friday, September 6th in Sao Paulo. The game will also be exclusively aired on Peacock. No word on when tickets will go on sale. The rest of the Packers schedule this year will be announced later in the spring. Meanwhile, you can see some current and former Packers. The tailgate tour has scheduled 
stops in our viewing area. They stop at schools, hospitals, and other venues to meet the fans. And this is tonight, 6 to 7.30 at the Eclipse Center in Beloit. There will be food, activities, and a Q&A session with those players. They'll visit Platteville tomorrow and then Sun Prairie on Friday. More details can be found on the Packers website. To the court now, Bucks fans can breathe a sigh of relief. Yesterday during the Bucks win against the Celtics, Giannis went down with what appeared to be a lower leg injury. Well, the Bucks said today after testing, he suffered a calf strain, which means he will miss the remaining three regular season games. ESPN earlier reported there was no damage to his Achilles tendon, which of course is also very good news. That does mean though tonight the Bucks will be without Giannis against the Magic on television Wisconsin. Right now the Magic are just two games behind the Bucks for the two seed and they play them twice in these final three. This is also Milwaukee's final home game of the regular season. Tip-off is set for 7 o'clock tonight. Tune into television Wisconsin over the air on channel 3.2. And when we come back, Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington returns. A complete look at your forecast and tomorrow's rain chances. And this nice weather today means the return of the UW Memorial Union Terrace Sunburst Chairs. We'll tell you about an upcoming party to celebrate their return. And another rough day on Wall Street. The Dow tumbling more than 422 points. The Nasdaq falls 136. S&P down 49. We'll be right back. Make entertaining and enjoying your home extraordinary with the luxurious look of Pella. At Pella, we see windows differently with the highest energy efficient products and range of options that add long lasting value to your home. From sleek design, custom colors, and long lasting durability, getting the style and functionality you want has never been easier. Right now, get 0% interest for up to 36 months or no down payment, no interest, and no payments for up to 18 months. Visit PellaWI.com today. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center. Remarkable. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. You know, if you were cash back and you could earn on everything with just one card, Chase Freedom Unlimited. So if you're off the racking or crab cracking, you're cash backing. Cash back on flapjacks, baby backs, or tacos at the Taco Shack. Nah, I'm working on my six pack. Switch to a King Suite. Or book a silent retreat. Silent retreat? Oh, hold up. Yeah, I can't talk right now. I'm at a silent retreat. Cash back on everything you buy with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of a yours. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Madison's older generations open up. Settle in with Madison Magazine for fond, frank, and funny reflections from local seniors. Then meet a new generation taking action against climate change. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Madison Magazine presents The City Guide, your ultimate resource for Madison area adventures. With inside tips on where to eat, what to do, and places to see. Available now on area newsstands or online at madisonmagazine.com. Maintenance crews scaled the heights to the top of the Capitol for reconstruction of the dome. We'll take you to the top for a bird's eye view of workers keeping the downtown icon looking good. That's tonight at 6. How old are you? 99 plus. And he spent a lifetime doing something good. I'll tag along with this amazing local veteran as he reveals priceless life lessons and what we can all do to make his greatest wish come true. Thursday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Moving forward. The Dane County Farmer's Market returns this weekend. That means some minor street closures ahead of it. The Y intersection 
between State, West Mifflin, and North Carroll Street will be closed on Saturday. That closure will affect all motor vehicles, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Traffic will have to detour around the square. Metro buses will also have detours. Monday, we introduced you to the State Street painting event for the upcoming pedestrian mall experiment. But due to an overwhelming response, the city of Madison is no longer accepting volunteers. As of this morning, more than 600 people signed up to leave their mark on State Street. The city is planning a painting project to go along with a test of the State Street pedestrian mall. Now the city is releasing plans for how the volunteers will help. They'll be split in two shifts on April 21st. The first group will paint from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. and the second group will start at noon and go until 3 p.m. Well, the wait is almost over at the Union Terrace. The iconic sunburst cheers are set to make a return a week from t uh, yesterday, actually. Next Tuesday from 4 to 6, the union will host an opening of the terrace party, setting out 2,000 of the colorful chairs, giving a glimpse that summer is just about here. Right after, guests are welcome to attend an open mic night hosted by Wood Music. The union actually held its first full terrace season way back in 1929. Well, looking ahead now at 5, the Wisconsin State Fair today announcing their main stage lineup. The State Fair starts August 1st and runs through the 11th. The festivities will be kicked off by comedian Gabriel Iglesias and feature a mixture of both musicians and comedians. Some musicians headlining are Foreigner, Jordan Sparks, the brothers Osborne, and country music artist Riley Green. Tickets go on sale this Friday starting at 10 a.m. Tomorrow may be a little noisier than usual as statewide tornado drills will take place across Wisconsin. Now, according to Wisconsin Emergency Management, tornado drills will take place 1:45 tomorrow afternoon and then 6:45 in the evening. Schools, businesses, and homes are encouraged to practice going to their nearest tornado shelter during these drills. Ideal shelters can include your basement, of course, a ground floor interior room. Now, just a couple hours ago, we want to mention Dane County Emergency Emergency management announced it will not be sounding their outdoor warning sirens in association with a statewide tornado drill. And Alex joins us now to tell us a little bit more about why that is, Alex. Yes, the reason why that is, Eric, is because in Dane County, the first Wednesday of the month, the sirens go off for practice, so they're not participating tomorrow. That's a great question. And tomorrow is going to be a rainy day. There will be some isolated thunderstorms. And in some years, the statewide tornado drill is rescheduled when there are severe thunderstorm chances. We are not expecting severe weather on your Thursday. Just a rainy one out there. And then we'll train that tr trade that rain in for the wind wind on your Friday and a warm weekend. Everybody, I promise you that for the upcoming Saturday and Sunday time frame. We've got 67. It's warm out there now. 71 in Middleton. I said last night if we could get a little bit more sunshine, we could crack that 70 degree mark. And we did in Prairie du Chien and Boscobel at 71 right now. Picture perfect evening to get outside and do anything and everything spring and summer like. Overnight tonight, temperatures middle 40s, cloudy skies, mild, quiet. Then the shower activity fills in. We'll track that together here in a moment. 56 will be a common temperature across all of southern Wisconsin. Well, where is this weather system as we speak right now? It's over portions of the southern United States, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas. That's where that area of low pressure is. And it's going to scoot off towards the north and towards the east, clipping Wisconsin with some scattered shower activity. Let's track it. Midnight, nothing, just cloudy skies, an isolated chance of a shower as we head towards daybreak on your Thursday. But watch as we head towards noon. Some scattered showers developing over southwestern Wisconsin, a little bit more persistent rain east of Madison, and then more widespread scattered showers and a clap, a clap or two of thunder. Not out of question for all of southern Wisconsin. But there will be a couple of holes, a couple of dots where folks don't get precipitation. So don't be shocked if you miss out on a couple of these raindrops. And there may be some areas as that rain ends on your Friday trading things in for the wind. There may be some areas that see a decent amount of rainfall. Let's track the rainfall amounts here. Widespread quarter to half inch expected with an isolated maybe half inch or more in just a couple of little pockets. Coming up at six though we're going to track the wind with this weather system behind it's going to be a windy Friday warm this weekend. Look at Sunday 76 degrees. That's way above normal. That's almost 20 degrees above normal. We stay warm next week. We have all the ingredients in place place Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday for rounds of showers and thunderstorms and the first one weather team are keeping an eye on the potential for alert day conditions on any of those given days for the possibility of some severe weather. We'll keep an eye on that. Speaking of severe weather awareness week, 
tail size is. Well, did you know that a quarter is considered severe size tail? I'm curious if you've seen hail larger than a quarter. When I was out in Kansas for those years, we saw hail to the size of grapefruit size and softball size multiple times during severe weather season. And if you want to join in on my chat, I'm meteorologist Alex Harrington. I'm curious to see what's the biggest hail size you've seen in the state of Wisconsin. All right, traffic out there right now. Let's see if we can get some data. Maybe we're missing data here, and that's okay. I suspect with it being 5 o'clock at night that things are a little bit on the slow side on the Beltline right now. Let's swing off towards the south and towards the east down towards Janesville. Again, we're not looking like we have a whole lot of data, but if our uh, past history rings true here, I bet we're going at about 70 miles per hour in Janesville, and I'd suspect the same up towards the Dells. And a gorgeous night tonight. Let the windows down. Open the sunroof. Good stuff. All right, thank you, Alex. And are you sending your child to camp this summer? Well, next at five, expect it to cost more than ever to get them there. We'll have that story coming up. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. Sockbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain, your knee injury, that hip that bothers you, with your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sock Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. Create your perfect room for entertaining, relaxing, and more with patio enclosures. Right now, get 25% off your sunroom. Plus, enjoy exceptional financing. Call today. Patio enclosures. You and running have been together for a while now. Fact is, so has Morgan's good form running. Every run is more than just a run. It's about finding oneself. Movement in a new pair of Hoka's is good magic. Gear up today at Morgan's Good Form Running. Buy a pair of Hoka's and experience the difference. Why run when you can fly? Experience the comfort and style of Hoka. Visit us here today at Morgan's Good Form Running. Morgan's Good Form Running, Hilldale. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. We are Dane County. We are Madison, McFarland, Sun Prairie. We are Wanakee, Stoughton, Middleton, Deerfield, and everywhere in between. We are committed to being unique in supporting the value when families share the memories of family and friends at the loss of a loved one. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, more than just a funeral home. We are the people you know and trust to help families before, during, and after the loss of a loved one. Learn more at CrestFuneralService.com. <laughs> I want fresh air. <laughs> you need the experts. Right now at Felco, get free installation, plus no interest for six years. Call 866 for Felco. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. A consumer watchdog group wants the popular snack kit Lunchables removed from school programs because of excessive sodium. This week, Consumer Reports petitioned the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which oversees the National School Lunch Program, to keep the products out of school cafeterias. Now, public schools introduced the ready-to-eat meals by Kraft Heinz as options just last year. The company said it had to reformulate the ingredients to ensure they met federal guidelines, but according to Consumer Reports, 
The Lunchables served at schools are actually even higher in sodium than those sold in stores. The group says the lunch kits also contain harmful chemicals that can lead to serious health problems over time. Meanwhile, a lot of parents are digging deeper into their pockets to send their kids to camp this summer. The American Camp Association says the average cost of a day of camp, the average day camp, costs about $87 a day, and that can vary widely across the nation. Nancy Chen talked to one parent who's really feeling the pinch and has some tips on how you can cut your costs. These kind of douches for moms. Thank moms. you. With spring break now behind New Jersey mom Jamie Adursky, the countdown is on for summer. Come sit over here. When you hear summer's coming up, you think, buckle up. <laughs> I don't think fun. The copywriter who relies on camp for childcare made this popular oh, TikTok. Wow. How much is camp? Oh, that's $5,000. $5,000? After struggling with how to get into, much less afford, summer programs for her two kids, ages four and eight. What, what are we going to do today? Adursky says even costs for her neighborhood rec center have become too pricey, jumping at least 10% each summer the past few years, with spots snatched up as early as January. It's something that's kept me up at night thinking about, well, what am I going to do with my kids for the summer? And I've kind of cobbled together a plan, but it's still not enough. Why is it so competitive to get into day camp these days? Families that were not engaged in camp before the pandemic are now interested in camp for their children. Every parent realizes now how important it is that kids have a summer learning program. Tom Rosenberg heads the American Camp Association, a nonprofit representing about 15,000 camps in the U.S. He says prices are set a year out. How much have costs gone up for camp? Many industries are impacted by inflation and camp is no exception. Every cost of business that camps have across the board really have gone up substantially. Rosenberg says it's worth parents asking about financial aid, which many camps provide along with payment plans. Civic organizations also sometimes offer scholarships. And don't forget the Child Independent Care Tax Credit, which could offset up to $3,000 of summer camp costs per child. This year, Adursky says she's enrolling her son in a science camp, but keeping it mostly to half days spread throughout the summer. Seeing him come home and being excited about something and learning something new, that is, of course, the ultimate goal for any parent. Camp can be a huge part of that experience. I just wish that there were more options available for everybody. If you're finding it difficult to land a spot in a camp right now, don't despair. There are always spots that unexpectedly open up as things change, so stay in touch with camp organizers. The American Camp Association also has a great online tool to help find a program near you. Just keep in mind, time is of the essence at this point. Nancy Chin, CBS News, New York. Alex is back. Final check of your first one forecast when we return. Donate blood at Stoughton Health's upcoming blood drive on April 19th from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The event will be hosted at our Community Health and Wellness Center. Sign up online at bloodcenter.org. Get an 11% rebate on your next painting project now at Menards. Pittsburgh Ultra Interior Paint and Primer in One provides a durable, washable finish. Grab a gallon of Ultra Interior Fly Paint for just $16.88 after 11% rebate. Give your room a grand finish with Pittsburgh Grand Distinction Interior Paint. It's a premium paint and primer with excellent durability and comes in over 701 coat colors. A gallon starts at $31.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint for certain. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. 
imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. You've probably heard by now, but Wanaki Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanaki Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakiRemodeling.com for more. Join Stoughton Health's Dr. Aaron Schwab on April 18th to learn about simple outpatient treatments that can alleviate varicose or spider veins. To register for the free educational talk, visit StoughtonHealth.com and click on Classes and Events. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, the fight to protect Americans from forever chemicals in their drinking water. How the new standards from the EPA could save thousands of people and why water companies say it'll cost billions. That more headlines tonight on the CBS Evening News. Tonight on News 3 Now, I'm taking you to the highest point of the city of Madison to show you how crews take care of our beloved capital. Watch at 6 if you aren't afraid of heights. Pretty interesting. This one's no, afraid of heights. No, no, no. Grew up in a farm. Don't take me up on the silos either. <laughs> Final check of the forecast. Yeah, we got rain on your Thursday. That's why the highs are in the 50s. Cool on your Friday. Well, it's still above normal, but re relatively speaking, cool compared to the 76 we're going to experience on your Sunday. Highs in the 50s across all of southern Wisconsin with those rain chances everywhere. Quarter to half inch might be, uh, might be a high estimate in some areas of southern Wisconsin with some places getting mixed and then Next week, we're going to be watching the potential for stronger storms Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It is that time of the year. We're back in 30 for News Street Now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.